This spring, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment invited a dream team of eight professional MOBA players to game developer Monolith Seattle Studios. The pros are here for an unprecedented early look at Monolith's new console-based MOBA, Guardians of Middle-Earth. Right now we got the guys back in this morning. Last night they gave us some good feedback. We made some changes. They're playing a new build now. In part one, the pros spent the day playing Guardians of Middle-Earth. Based on the player's feedback, the developers tweak some of the game's internal settings. Today, the pros are back for another round of matches to see how these new changes affect the game. I look forward to seeing uh, the differences in what you find uh, just overall in the game. Uh, go for it, have fun. Oh, dude, these guys are getting face real, dude. I didn't really plan on being a professional gamer. It was more of just, let's just play for fun and just see where it took me. And it ended up taking me pretty far, and I've been really enjoying the ride. One of my biggest problems with the game that I expressed yesterday was that the respawn timer is too low. Uh, if you, you know, are pushing the other team's base and they kill you, they don't have enough time to come back. So. The first thing we tried is drastically increasing the respawn timer. So when you die, you're out of the game for longer, which will allow the other team to push or allow a comeback to be made a little easier. All of the soldiers that are coming out that you're not in control of are a lot stronger now. And we also made the capture points uh, capture in three seconds instead of 10 to get all the team buffs around the map. Shrine control. After a morning of five-on-five -five matches, the players and development team head back to the conference room. This is the last opportunity for the developers to collect critical feedback that may affect the final version of the game. All right, so uh, came in this morning. We made some changes last night. We got you guys playing a few more rounds. Uh, seems like things were going better. Things were going smoother. Uh, so I'm excited uh, about the feedback we're getting and the changes we're making, and hope hopefully we'll get some more from you guys after today's session here. The advice that we gave them, they changed overnight instead of going out to dinner with us, really shows a lot about their desire to put out a good game. I like the shrine changes because putting it down to three seconds, I didn't think it would have changed that much, but it actually made everybody want to just constantly cap it. So everyone was constantly moving back and forth between the shrines, like he took it. No, he took it. At the start, I didn't believe a console game could really be a MOBA, but for Guardians of Middle-Earth, I actually think it's, it's pretty, pretty dang good at this point. In the last match of the day, the pros discover a powerful exploit that impacts the game's potion system. I popped all four health potions in one fight and killed three people. <laughs> that was the only thing I did to snowball my game. It leveled me from three to six, and that ended the game. I was more, more powerful than everybody else, and that's all it took. I think it's great that they're getting into the nitty gritty of, of you know, exactly what they think of it. Um, I mean, for one thing, this is what they do for a living, is they, you know, they really need to dig into the games that they play and find out exactly how they can win, you know, find out what the weaknesses and strengths of the game are that they can exploit. There's five people on the map, each have four potions, and there's like 30 potions. You know, you can't really predict accurately what's gonna happen. There's other things we could do. We could actually add tells to when you pop a potion. Maybe there's a, a half second or like a second delay before you get it, or maybe it's like a, a very fast regen potion. People that are just exposed to this for the first time, they'll be able to get in and go, wow, I can play this MOBA really quick, fun, fast, and then as they learn each additional play, you know, each additional game, they're going to find that the depth just goes and goes and goes down until they're uh, really kind of sucked into it. It's just pretty much really good friends that I've met at other events, playing a brand new video game, giving feedback, and really just having a good time. Though the players and developers' time together has come to an end, the pros' suggestions will continue to play a vital role in the development of Guardians of Middle-Earth. Before the game's all-important release date, the developers still have time to make changes. They really enjoyed it. They said they were having a lot of fun, um, especially these last few matches when they really got to, you know, got really used to things and were able to dig into the deeper aspects of the customization. They were really like, you know, yelling and laughing. And it was it was really awesome to see that that like, you know, we've made a really fun game, and that's really satisfying to know. Yeah.